Who knows? The war in the Middle East is just on the internet. The whole fucking thing. Every dude out there on both sides was wearing GoPros the entire time. Like, you can watch it. We watched, like, three hours of the war in Iraq. And after the first hour, I found myself starting to cheer. Not cheer, but, like, <laughs> relate. I felt like I could relate more to the Monkey Bars guys. You know what I mean? They were a little more my speed. And they were proud of the Monkey Bars. You remember that video? You've seen them using the Monkey Bars. They were they. They filmed themselves using the monkey bars and then sent that tape out to the world like, not bad. <laughs> you ever wonder how you would do out there? Watch those guys. Those are just normal fucking dudes. Second shots are fired. There's no game plan. Everyone's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Very relatable. Guns jamming. Trying to fire a rocket. It goes straight fucking backwards. <laughs> They're very, they look like me, trying to fire a gun. Their feet move when they shoot. <laughs> very relatable. They also have never won. They, ne they got fucked up every single time. Bad. They would blow up, like, one truck every five months. They'd be just as surprised as everybody. <laughs> Shit finally worked out. You could hear it in their voice. Someone would blow up, they'd be like, Oh! Hello! Oh! It's like, yeah, dude, that's a human reaction. That's relatable. That's what I would do if I saw a fucking explosion. I'd go, oh! <laughs> That's human. You ever watch us kill people? I can't relate to that at all. There's some Black Hawk helicopter with night vision. Mows down like 40 people. Pilot gets on, he just goes, clear. Just, fucking, <laughs> just flies away. It's like, yo, that's a psycho. That guy didn't give a fuck about that. At least ISIS is down there having fun, dancing afterwards.